Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jairo and I make travel videos and walk videos. Today I'm here at Eagle Beach in Aruba. In this video, I want to compare Eagle Beach to the Palm Beach, which are two of the most important beaches in Aruba. So this one, the Eagle Beach, is considered also as the low-rise hotels area, which we got a couple of them down the road. And the high-rise hotels is the Palm Beach Hotel, very popular also. I want to compare and give you guys uh, an idea of uh, what both have to offer. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give my honest opinion on which one is my favorite. You don't have to agree with me, but I want to give you information. So when you are booking your hotel, your place to stay, you could have a better idea, especially for those who have not been to the island yet. I think this is uh, going to be a pretty interesting video. Hang around till the end of this video and check it out. One of the things that I want to mention to you guys is that if you are here at the Eagle Beach, now this seems like the end of it. Uh, if you continue here where the rocks are, uh, it used to be that you can snorkel in this section. Uh, you can do some snorkeling. It's not really recommended right now uh, because of the water sports. So you gotta be careful. And there's, it's, it's not the best snorkeling space, uh, the snorkeling area. So I would not recommend it. In the late afternoon, sometimes you see some uh, fishermen, so they are fishing from the rocks as well. But so there are a couple of tropical fish down here because of the water sport. Uh, not too recommended lately. I also forgot to mention that uh, this is the only spot at Eagle Beach that I would consider even a, a remote chance of uh, snorkeling. The rest of it, I mean, you could <laughs> you could try to snorkel, but um, it's uh, it's not really recommended. You're not gonna see a whole lot. So those are uh, other beaches that I have featured in the past. Uh, I'll put the link of uh, one of those videos where I swam with turtles. I'll put the link up here somewhere, and you can check that one out. They have installed recently many of these maps that you can find next to the tourist attractions uh, and it will give you, for example, uh, the distances. For example, we are here at Eagle Beach, but if you want to go, say, to, uh, I don't know, to the hospital, it's 450 meters, uh, Kasibari Rock Formation, the airport, this is downtown in Oranjestad and we are situated here. Uh, this is the Eagle Beach, and on this area, it's not on the map, it's the Palm Beach.
Now with the beach uh, in the background, we got the Amsterdam Manor and we got the La Cabana Beach Resort and Casino. And I just want to show you guys briefly uh, if you can spot it right at the end of the road, the Superfood Supermarket. And uh, that's probably the most popular supermarket uh, for the tourists, for the visitors here on the island. So uh, from these uh, hotels, from the low-rise hotels, it's certainly a walking di uh, distance that you can go get some beers or something. Now one thing I wanted to show you guys without doing any color grading, any color at all to the video, the color of the sand. Uh, this is uh, Eagle Beach sand. I think uh, it's really, really nice. And closer to the water, you can have a better idea of it too. This is with absolutely no color grading color correction this is what it is this is what you will get very clear aqua blue waters As I've shown you before, there are palapas uh, that are from properties from the hotels. Uh, these are no reservations, so these are public palapas. Everybody knows uh, about the Fofoti trees that I have shown you uh, quite extensively here on the channel already and also in the first part of this video. Now I'm here at the end of the inside road where you have this palm tree, uh, which is also very popular for taking photos, especially in the morning. If you come and take photo here, especially come here in the morning. Uh, if you saw my bike ride from the airport to Eagle Beach, this is where I put the bike and took the beautiful, beautiful photo. I just wanted to briefly show you guys that we are still at Eagle Beach on this side. Now that's the Costa Linda Hotel. And on this side is the further down the road was the start of the Eagle Beach. Now they have made a park here where uh, in the late afternoons especially, but also right now it's about 2 p.m. Children, families come and play a very, very nice playground for them so the Eagle Beach does extend to all the way to this part and 
beyond that hotel more or less starts the Manchevo beach. So after that drive, we are now here at the Palm Beach, which as you can see already, it's the high rise hotels starting with the, uh, what is it? The uh, Ritz Carlton uh, and many believe it's the Rio Hotel, but actually the first high rise hotels is considered the Aruba DV or the DV Aruba Fittings Hotel. By the way, since we are already here, I would like to talk a little bit like if you want to do any type of snorkeling this area where you can see those rocks and on the inside you can do some snorkeling also uh, in between the Phoenix and the Rio there are some other rocks now watch out every time for the currents over here the currents are pretty strong and there's uh, constantly water sports boats coming in and out so that is very, very important here. Uh, those boats sometimes cannot see you. So that's something you do have to watch out. As I walk here on the beach, a couple of things that I want to note out. So on this side, you will find many local families uh, will come to the beach and most of them will stay on uh, this side of the Rio. Uh, so this is like more of a local vibe. And if you're looking for any reason for the beach police, this is their headquarters. So right next to the Rio in between, as I already mentioned, in between the Phoenix and the Rio. Now, another thing here on this side on Palm Beach is that uh, you can notice that it gets uh, quite uh, more noisy, louder. Uh, music uh, all over uh, both the hotels and people will bring music uh, and as I mentioned uh, about the weddings wedding ceremonies wedding renewals uh, many of them also happen here now one thing I want to do here also, I want to test the scent and with no color grading, no color correction, you can see the color of it. All right. Um, apart from that, I do have to say that um, here at Palm Beach, there are areas uh, that the beach, the sand will be a little bit different. So in front of certain 
other areas, other hotels, it might be better than this one. Uh, I'm not going to mention the ones that I think are better because the conditions do change from time to time. But I do have an idea where it's the best. Now here it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. The water is pretty clear. Uh, it is most of Aruba. It is not everywhere though. But most of Aruba it does look just about the same. As you can see the water is completely clear blue aqua water you gotta love this and as they tell me all the time i'm lucky to live here and live where i can uh, come to a beach like this just about every day if i wanted to Now most of the best water sports and just most of the water sports in general are situated here at Palm Beach. You can get just about everything here from uh, parasailing, uh, kayak, um, uh, sunset cruises, snorkeling. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll forget a whole bunch of them, but this is where you get most of them. So I just uh, met someone that's been uh, watching my videos and he want to say hi to everybody Hello back everyone. home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you guys have bye bye. Now another thing is that this Rio Hotel is uh, they first. Um, let me go back a little bit. Uh, this uh, only this tower existed in the past. It was called the Sheraton uh, Hotel originally. I do believe um, and then they built this tower and that one and then eventually they bought this other hotel and incorporated it in their properties here on the island they have some sort of party right now over there so I'm not gonna get too close uh, probably get copyrighted with the music and everything but it seems pretty fun there everybody's screaming back there so I wish I could go back there and have some fun <laughs> myself now let me turn around and here at the uh, Rio nearby, you get the Palm Pier, which is one of the, if not the most popular pier, the Bugalo, Bugaloo uh, bar, which is very, very popular. And I have to say, they don't pay to, to, for me to say this, but it's really one of my favorite places to come have, uh, either to eat or to have a drink. It's very, very nice and uh, they also have live music here and there. Uh, I don't know if it's every night, but certainly they do have live music as well. Now here at the inside you also have a walkway where you can uh, walk in between the hotels without going on the street side. So this is very practical and it goes from uh, the first hotel all the way to I believe the Holiday Inn. Uh, and just because we are already here I want to show you some preparations, some pretty cool preparations for another ceremony here at this one is at the Hilton Hotel looks pretty cool and most of these ceremonies happen after 5 or 6 p.m. more or less because of the sunset and because of the weather it's um, it's more pleasant weather at that time of day to be doing these things several of the hotels also have some shops uh, right next to the beach so if you forgot anything, you can come and get uh, like scent and lotion and I don't know, beach wear or anything, toys for your kids. Uh, so we are at the, again, at the Bugalo uh, Pier or rather the Palm Pier, which is the Bugalo uh, bar and restaurant right there. And uh, all of these signs have things that you have to take into account, things that are not permitted. Uh, for example, also take into account no lifeguard on duty. So that is uh, 
nowhere, I, I do believe it's nowhere on Aruba, so you cannot find lifeguards uh, at the beaches. Many, many years ago you did, not anymore. So you can also find some lockers here at the beach. Uh, there is one here at the Bugalo, and I believe one, at least one more near the Hyatt Hotel. So with the magic of a video, I have moved now to this part of the Palm Beach. This is the Pits, Pits Pier Bar, which I took the Catamaran uh, uh, Sunset Sail video. I'll put the link here somewhere or there. And that's in front of the Hyatt Hotel. I just showed you the lockers where you can put your stuff there. And I'm gonna check out this beach for you guys as well and give you a different look now. So like I mentioned to you guys before, we got many, many water sports here in this area of Palm Beach and I'm going to also give you somewhat of a closer look of the beach. I know many of you have been asking me how full the hotels are lately and I would say it's pretty full. I don't know the percentage. It seems to me that it might be in any case uh, around uh, and I'm just gonna guess uh, I've heard numbers around 70% or so which for this time of the year is actually pretty darn good so guys with this video I try to give you um, the differences and the things that can, you can find here at the Eagle Beach and here at the Palm Beach. The main difference, large hotels, smaller hotels, uh, facilities, restaurants, bars, uh, water sports and such. Now as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, I'm gonna mention my favorite. Now my favorite is the Eagle Beach. And the reason is, it is uh, less crowded. Uh, it's, it's got less water sports, nothing against them, but it's, it seems safer to, if you go for a swim. The beach itself, to me, at least from, how do you say it, from uh, first look, it, it seems like the sand and the beach and the water and everything looks cleaner, it's wider. Uh, it seems better, just in general. Um, but then if you come for say uh, to come to a bar or you come to people watch or you come for water sports or you come from these high-rise hotels which are really really good they have just about everything you need in them and also in front of the high-rise hotels you have uh, great restaurants many many shops uh, you have uh, cinema um, I don't know a lot of things to do uh, both during the day and especially at night after your beach day and um, yeah let me think uh, have I forgotten anything um, I think both are great uh, I'm not trying to impose my views my opinion on you guys you probably have your favorite by now uh, either because you have been coming to Aruba and you know the areas let me know which one is your favorite. There is no wrong answer, I think. And uh, I'm just giving my uh, personal opinion, my honest opinion on this topic. I would stay also here, but I do like the other side. Oh, one big difference, by the way, in case you have not realized or noticed, the high-rise hotels are right on the beach. Uh, and the low-rise hotels, at least at Eagle Beach, um, are not situated on the beach so you have to cross the road that is not a big deal I would say but if you go to the Manchebo uh, beach uh, you go to the Tamarain beach which I have done uh, a few walks walk videos uh, you will notice that those hotels are right on the beach too so they are not part of Eagle Beach actually but they are part of the high rather the low-rise hotels nothing further Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like and share this video and check out my website and the links below in this video.
See you next week, guys. Bye-bye.